Hello everyone. In this video, let us know the expansion formula, the method to find out the Rook polynomial. Till now, we have not used the expansion formula to find out the Rook polynomial. So, the expansion formula can be used whenever the board is too complex. That means it contains too many number of rows and a columns. According to this rule, the given board can be divided into a number of different components and for each of the small component we are going to find out the root polynomial separately and finally they can be combined together to find out the root polynomial for the final board that is r of cx so here to divide the boards we are going to follow the simple steps here it is in a given board C, suppose we choose a particular square and mark it as asterisk. To explain this concept, let me consider a simple board that is 2 cross 2. Uh, so, the first step is we are going to mark any of the square which is our choice. We can mark this as the asterisk symbol or the second position, third position or a fourth position. It's our opinion to mark it as the asterisk. And the next let D be the board obtained from the C by deleting the row and column containing the square star or square asterisk. So, according to the step 1, after marking the asterisk symbol, we are deleting the corresponding row and the column. And the resultant board, we can name it as D. And the step 2, the board E can be obtained from the C by deleting only the square which is containing the asterisk symbol. That means only this square can be removed and the resultant board can be named as E. So this is the resultant board we are going to get by remo removing the square which containing the asterisk symbol. So now we are finding the root polynomial for the board D and the board E and combine them together by using the formula r of cx is equal to r of sorry is equal to x into r of dx plus r of ex r of dx can be calculated the root polynomial calculated for the board d and r of ex is calculated for the board e and combined together to get the r of cx so this is the rule to divide the given board into a different components let us understand this concept thoroughly by using an example. Find the rook polynomial for the 2 cross 2 board by using the expansion formula. It is a simple board but here I have taken it to explain the concept uh, thoroughly. So let me consider this square and mark it as the asterisk so that according to the step 1 the corresponding row and column can be removed so that the resultant board will be named as d which contain only one square and according to the step 2 only the square which contain the asterisk symbol is removed so that the resultant board can be looked like this name it as e now it is time to find out the polynomial for the individual boards so for the board d r of dx is equal to 1 plus x because as with the first video on the root polynomial for the trivial ca case that means if the board contain only one square only one pan can be placed over it hence the root polynomial is given by 1 plus x so next for the board e r1 is equal to 3 the total number of squares present in it is equal to 3 and r2 r2 can be calculated for the placement of two pans so Suppose if we place the first pan over here and the second pan cannot be placed in the same column so that it can be placed in this position so that R2 which I have got only one option so R2 is equal to 1. So the generally the root polynomial is given by R of EX is equal to 1 plus R1X plus r2x square plus r3x cube it goes like this so r of ex is equal to 1 plus we have got r1 as 3 so 3x plus r2 is 1 so 1 into x square that is x square 
we don't have any r3 so it will be stopped over here so after finding the individual root polynomial for two different components now we need to combine them to get a final board that is r of c x r of c x is given by x into r of d x plus r of e x so we we have the individual component root polynomial so let us represent x into r of d x is 1 plus x plus r of e x is 1 plus 3 x plus x square by simplifying this we will get it as x into 1 is x plus x square plus 1 plus 3 x plus x square by simplifying the root polynomial can be 1 plus 3x plus x is 4x plus x square plus x square is 2x square. Then the resultant root polynomial for the board cx that is the given entire board is given by 1 plus 4x plus 2x square. This expansion formula can be used whenever the board is complex. So same method can be used whenever uh, the given board having the many number of rows and columns. So this is about the expansion formula. Let us understand the expansion formula by considering more and more problems about this in the next videos. Thank you.